YouTube, it's Amy. I just wanted to make this quick update for all of you that are um, following and you know, praying for my dad. He did find out some not so great news today. They uh, did his bone marrow test and the amyloidosis is in his bone marrow. He does have AL am amyloidosis and he has two treatment options, or two options. One's a treatment and one is a cop-out. Um, but they have a um, stem cell therapy. I, I haven't done much research on it yet, but um, they're going to harvest his stem cells. And they gave him the option of freezing them for a few years, and he can... Um, uh, try to fight this at another time because it is progressing pretty slowly. Um, they can do some predicting. Um, they told him that if he didn't want to do treatment, which is chemotherapy, in the cancer hospital, he is going to go to uh, um, uh, Sharp um, San Diego Cancer um, Hospital. Um, it is not cancer. It is its own unique demon, uh, per se. And he will have to go in the hospital for uh, two and a half to three and a half weeks. And then it will be fairly weak and not too um, happy and healthy for about three months afterwards. He will lose all his hair and, you know, same type of things you have to go through, be sick with the chemo. Um, and they will do numerous blood transfusions and, I guess, put the stem cells back into his body. And hopefully that will replace the bad blood. I don't, I don't really know. It's really, really confusing. But he, is, he was given the option for them to predict, by doing more testing, when his kidneys will fail and he can just live with it and know that he has about this amount of time before his kidneys fail or he can fight this thing with the stem cell therapy and the chemo and he's gonna fight it um, we're trying to figure out when we could do this uh, he wants to try to go on vacation with my mom and we have to take care of you know things and um, it's going to be a family teamwork to get this accomplished and uh, get him through this. Um, I saw a little fear in his eyes, which kind of upset me. But when I talked to him, we ended on a positive note talking about my marathon. He's very, very proud of me. And actually, I, I didn't share this in my marathon video, but I want to share this with you guys. Um, I had my cell phone on me, and I made that short little video towards the end. I had the ringer off so I couldn't hear it ring, but when I crossed the finish line, I had one call 10 minutes before I crossed that finish line, and it was a message from my dad asking how I was doing, if I finished, and he wanted to um, talk to me. He wanted to know how it went. You know, he was the first voice I heard after I crossed that finish line, and that really meant a lot to me, and I'm, I'm glad it was him that sent me that message. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you instead of going into the cupboard and grabbing for a bag of chips that are in there. I am making this video and sharing it with you guys. I am sure he's going to get through this. We're going to get through this. And um, I'm going to be strong. And he's going to be strong. And we're going to get through it. It's just going to be tough. Thank you all for your prayers. Thank you all for your encouragement and strength to get me through this marathon and your prayers for my dad. Have a great night. Bye.